Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Thrux and I'm this is Daily Rambles. Today, let's take five. It's on uh, The Flash, Season 4, Episode 2, and it's called Mixed Signals. Uh, this is going to be up way later than I thought it was going to be. It's a little legend, so I just want to deal with it. It'll be fine. So, basically, a guy buys an apartment. He's basically a douchebag, according to the realtor. So he goes into the elevator, and at first we think it's just a little malfunction happening. But it turns out someone hacked it, and the elevator's up and down, up and down super fast. So the guy's going literally hitting the top and the bottom, the top and the bottom, till it crashes down to the floor level and kills him. And a poor old lady saw that, saw the body and everything. So that's not good. So they have Barry doing a famous scene from a movie, which I do not remember the name of. I really don't remember the name of it, but if you want to let me know down in the comment section down below, that would be great. But it was super fun moment montage. I really liked that a lot. It turns out Barry's catching up on everything, and basically um, he's catching up on all of his favorite TV shows in San Francisco because he is watching everything super fast, but he still knows what's happening, so he's catching up on all of his stuff. Basically, trying to catch up on everything along with wedding stuff, trying to help Iris out with the wedding, but not really giving her her his that not really giving her an input. But he's basically doing all of her favorite stuff for the wedding, so it should be fine. Um, so then we have Cisco and Barry uh, do the police stuff. Basically, Barry's there for CSI work, and um, Cisco's there for the technology type stuff. So uh, they get the information they need, and they go out to Star Labs, where Cisco unveils a new suit and tells them about all the new gadget stuff and about the manual, which Barry has to read. And then um, we have our slightly miffed, and so Caitlin talks to her about physical therapy, not physical therapy, couples therapy, and says basically that her and Ronnie did it, and maybe she should consider it. She says, no, we're Barry and... Ours, we're good. So she kind of brushes her, her off. So then there's a breach coming through. And so basically they go down and um, to the thing. And then it turns out Gypsy visits. And wants uh, is date night with Cisco and her. So it's nice that they can date beyond dimensions. And I'm almost 30 and I'm alone and single. <laughs> I'll pro uh, sh and I'm going to leave this in. Whatever. Anyway, so then... Uh, <laughs> I just plan. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, so uh, they visit and date night and all that stuff. Then someone had some guy's car and Barry goes to help, but leaves it around, around the uh, wrong street because they're doing construction, which he didn't know about, but I was trying to warn him about. So Barry has to dismantle the car and say it's the guy. And then uh, Cisco was a scan on the um, the on the car, and it's the same type of signal they got from the elevator. So, and then, so they're trying to crack it, and Kaelin says it's like a human virus because they show it on the screen. And so, you know, Kaelin's a biochem major, so she knows it's basically a human virus in a computer mode, so they know it's a meta. So, uh, then Iris and Barris. Then Iris and Barry talk again, and then she suggests couple therapy because he wasn't really listening to her, and she wants to fine tune the relationship. And so, literally, um, Barry's fine with it, so they literally go to therapy because she says, "Start some forty five minutes, let's get chop chop." <laughs> so it's an awkward session, and I loved it every single minute of it. It was hysterical. I thoroughly enjoyed it a lot. It was. So awkward, I just like it. And so then um, they found the guy in a, a magazine that Cisco had, and they made a little funny joke about why well, I said, these are the magazines you had when you were a teenager. And he was like, not cool, man, not cool. So <laughs> most people know what I'm talking about. So anyway, <laughs> so they uh, found the guy in the magazine, and it said the same guy is a meta, and he's at the police station, and goes to the bomb unit section and so basically what he does was he tampers with the machine to make uh, a bomb robot with a bomb go into Joe's office and literally drops the bomb so um, Barry um, so then Joe does the distress signal so 
So he has to leave the awkward session to go help out, and he does rescue them. And so they find the guy's name is Deacon, and then we have Caitlin and Cisco brainstorm, and then uh, Cisco cancels the date with Gypsy, and she says it's fine, but um, but Caitlin tells her tells him it's not fine, and that he's going to be in super big trouble. They have session two of the awkward uh, couple session, and then we find out that Iris is really mad at Barry for leaving and going into the. Um, Force, and that's why she's really, really pissed and kind of miffed. And so, um, then we cut to the guru lady playing games. And so, while well, they bugged the house so they can listen in, but uh, Deacon does show up with the guy there as well. And so, um, basically, what happened was, um, while he just got there in time, but what he, Deacon did was he mimicked the, um, the sigils and stuff, so they could seem like, you know, everything was um, still going according to plan, and they couldn't detect anything, but in fact, he was manipulated, then he slipped up, or something happened to where uh, Wally and Joe heard everything, so Wally gets there just in time to save the guru, because he basically uh, tampered with her insulin, and tried to give her insulin overdose, so Wally injected her with glucose to balance her out. I believe that's what they said. And so basically, um, that happened. And then Cisco is, is freaking out because of what Caitlin said to him. So he summons Gypsy back. And Gypsy says everything is fine. But it's actually one 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 day, which is one soul. Plus another soul that you like or love is combined into another one whole soul. So basically, that's my interpretation of Valentine's Day. Of a version of Earth 19. So, okay. That's kind of neat. And basically admits that she kind of loves uh, Cisco and wants to do lovey dovey type stupid stuff with him. And so then, as Cisco is talking to her and trying to comfort her, he does crack the code and basically uh, leaves her again and says, She says, He does not know how much trouble he's going to be in. And then we have Iris and Barry talk. And as they're talking and working through their issue, um, the guy confesses online about Kildor, which is the name of the program that they sold to the guy, to the billionaire company, and basically screwed Deacon out. And that's why he's really pissed off with those three people. And then, so they uh, track the guy, and then Deacon literally almost kills the guy. Then um, Wally and Barry rush there and save the guy. And then Deacon plays with Barry's suit. And makes it blow up and disarm Wally and literally blows it up like a raft. <laughs> and Barry tries to get away and he thought he did for a minute, but he didn't. And so you have the uh, suit starts to be detonated. <laughs> and so um, Iris says to throw a lightning bolt at himself. And so um, as much uh, to Team. Uh, Flash's dismay, um, he does it anyway because he trusts Iris, so he, they do it. So he does it and it works. And then Barry and Jets Deacon and saves uh, the guy. They have Gypsy Date Night where they do lovey dovey, you know, they have their little smooch talk and all that type of stuff, which is actually kind of sweet. And then you have Deacon and Nine Heights into a very low, 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 low tech wing of cells. And doesn't tell them where he got his powers because he wasn't there when the particle sutterer went off the f period. So, and he did, he's not going to tell them anything else. And so the guy guarding, the, um, guarding him, he's in on it. And then he cut to the thinker. Where basically he uh, learned how to play all of Beethoven's art um, pieces, which is uh, like a lot in an afternoon, and very proficient at it. And basically he wanted the guy there, and that's how he leaves the episode. So the episode as a whole was really, really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it, like a lot. I'm gonna get A plus plus. It was super good. The funny stuff. Did not seem forced, and I freaking love that about a show when it doesn't seem forced. I really do like 
I really liked it. Uh, and they also had a little blip in the uh, therapy's office about Oliver Queen being the Green Arrow. And Barry doesn't know how to respond to that. He's like, what? And then the, the lady comes in, so they can't really talk about it. So I thought it was just super interesting, and I just love this episode. I feel like they've hit their stride again with this season, and it's been really a stellar. Both episodes have been really stellar, and I love they are bringing the funny back in it, and I feel like that was really necessary. So that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below on what you think of the episode. Do you agree or disagree? Did I miss anything out? And then subscribe for more stuff. And I'll see you in my next video, which will be super soon because I'm doing Legends Left tomorrow as soon as I can. Bye, everybody.